हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू स्वा एजुकेशन माय सेल्फ राधा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रोसेसिंग मेथड फॉर वेरियस कैटेगरी ऑफ फूड लाइक सीरियल्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस राइस माइलिंग एंड पैरा बॉइलिंग एंड दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम फूड प्रोसेसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी थर्ड यूनिट ऑफ पेपर टू ऑफ तेलंगाना फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर so let's start with our today's lecture so what is food processing food processing is the transformation of agricultural product into food or one form of food into other form for example there is a agricultural product that is potatoes and after processing after processing it convert into eatable form so that is food processing conversion of one form of food into another form or conversion of raw material into final product so that is food processing the processed food industry may be divided into following broad segment first one is the primary processed food secondary processed food and tertiary processed food so what is it primary processed food raw material are converted into edible food commodities for example grain converted into food commodities after that we can convert it into edible form so that is primary processed food traditional method like drying winnowing and butchering of animal for meat example drying of crop and processing of grain so grain processing grain processing that is primary processed food means conversion after harvesting into food commodities after that we can convert into edible food next one is the secondary processed food fresh food or the product of primary processed food when primary processed food convert into the product that can be secondary processed food or fresh food are converted into wide range of secondary processed food for example grinding of food grain or we can say crushing of fruit into paste or juice so crushing of fruit into paste or juice that is secondary processed food next one is tertiary processed food tertiary processed food or tertiary food processing is the commercial production of processed food for example industrially manufactured product like biscuit bread jam jelly chocolate etc next one is the processing of cereals in which we are going to discuss first primary processing then secondary processing so primary processing of cereals the main purpose of primary processing of whole cereal grain is to separate the outer layer of the grain from the inner section so what happen in primary processing separation of outer layer of the grain from the inner layer from the inner layer whole when the grain is mild to produce white flour the germ and bran are discarded this is germ layer and this is hull and fiber this is aleron layer that is brain where alpha amylase found so when the grain is mild or mylling will happen 
then germ and bran are discarded and the milling process and grind and pound the grain and the process used for milling each grain type is slightly different so what happen in primary processing primary processing of food separation of outer layer from the inner section that is the primary processing and this is the aleurone layer during the processing aleurone layer or we can say bran and germ are discarded so what are aleurone aleuron layer what happen generally so one is gibberellic acid that is phytohormone gibberellic acid so this gibberellic acid bound with its receptor that is gid1 and degrade dela protein and activate transcription factor that is myb and what is the function of this myb protein this myb protein activate alpha amylase enzyme alpha amylase enzyme and what is done by this alpha amylase enzyme this alpha amylase enzyme transfer from this portion to endosperm or the aleuron layer where starch is present and this alpha amylase enzyme convert this starch into simpler form of the carbohydrate so this is the function of aleuron layer where alpha amylase convert starch into simpler form of the carbohydrate and this gibberellic acid also help in the malt production as well as for the growth of the plant after milling of the grain the product can be described in the following ways whole grain or whole meal product mean the whole of the grain has been used that is the bran germ and the endosperm now we discuss that in endosperm starch is present and what happened there alpha amylase convert that starch into the simpler form then because the oil component in the germ can go rancid after a time whole meal product can develop of flavors next one is the refine product refer to product made only from the endosperm that is the starch and the bran and germ are removed refined product have a long shelf life but are nutritionally poor because they can they contain mostly carbohydrate because starch convert into simpler form of carbohydrate so mostly carbohydrate present next one is the enriched enriched product have vitamins and mineral added usually to give them similar nutritive properties to whole meal product but without the fiber content next one is the flour is the powdered form of the grain after grinding or milling so that is happen after milling of the grain and the product we describe next one is the secondary processing of cereal in secondary processing of cereal grain result in a variety of product and the main product are as follows breakfast cereal production may involve other process such as rolling and baking to make flakes example wheat flakes bread and other bakery item such as crisp bread sweet biscuits cake and pastries require the additional process of sifting mixing kneading proving and baking some bread and cake are leavened with raisin agent such as yeast and baking powder so in primary processing inner and outer layer are separated and in secondary processing when cereal grain convert into after that 
this is primary processing and after that it convert into bread and sweet biscuits so that is the secondary processing next one is what is milling in milling cereal processing is complex the principal procedure behind this that the grinding of grain so that it can be easily cooked and rendered into attractive food stuff and the step involved in this process is rice is passed through two stone rubber disc rotating at different speed rice is passed into rice passed into two stone rubber disc at rotating speed and shearing action on the grain and the hull is pulled away and hull is pulled away this is then mild in a machine called peeler to remove coarse outer layer of the bran and germ by the processing of rubbing and unpolished rice is labeled to develop rancidity and so it too next polished in a brush machine which remove the aileron layer and yield polished rice so what happen in here removal of aileron layer and conversion into the polished rice and sometime the pol polished rice is further treated in a device known as trumble to give a coating of the sugar and tuck to produce a brighter shine on the rice next one is the para boiling para boiling is a process in which rice has been partially boiled in the husk and this make rice easier to process or cook by hand boost its nutritional profile and change its texture so this is para boiled rice or we can say half boiled rice and how we can do this it is a very simple process that is called hot soaking process what we do in this soaking of paddy in a water so it's a water 62 to 70 degree celsius hot water and we soak paddy or rice into it for 3 to 4 hours and draining of water and steaming draining of water water is drained out and steaming of soaked rice in the same vessel for 5 to 10 minutes then steaming of it then drying of that in the sun or in a mechanical dryer so that are convert converted into par boiled rice or half boiled rice so what are the advantage of it dehusking of para boiled rice is easy mild para boiled rice has greater resistance to insect and fungus means insecticidal properties and fungicidal property develop in that kind of rice loss of nutrient due to removal of husk and bran in milling are decreased as we discussed that during the milling there is a separation of the bran and the germ they are removed from there due to that there is a loss of nutrient but loss of nutrient due to removal of husk and bran in milling are decreased by this process and loss of water soluble nutrient due to washing of rice is less in par boiled rice compared to raw rice and par boiling improve digestibility also so these are the advantage of this process so today we what we discussed today we discussed what is food processing primary secondary and tertiary food processing and we discussed about cereal food processing in which we discussed primary and secondary food processing including para boiling para boiling milling i hope this lecture is very clear to all of you so thank you so much everyone if you find this video beneficial for you please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel for more such kind of videos and if you have any query regarding this lecture you can comment down below thank you so much